How's it going, Jeremiah? This is the Casio CDP S100, the most affordable and budget friendly 88 key scale graded hammer digital piano that Casio launched in their S series for 2019. This piano will go very, very easy on your pocket. It retails for about £399 in the UK. It has yet to be released in the US, but you know, it shouldn't cost more than $499 US when launched in the US. So a few weeks ago, Casio EMI got in touch with me and asked if I'd like to have a look at this digital piano and perhaps make a video review for you guys. And I said, why not? Let's have a go and see how much value this piano offers at a very low price. This entry-level digital piano may have an entry-level price, but the features that it has is definitely not entry-level. As you guys know, I don't make marketing videos about the instruments that I review. I do this review from right out of my son's bedroom and I give you the honest truth and opinion about every musical instrument I review. If you're new here, my name is Jeremy C and in my channel, I make reviews, tips and tutorials about digital pianos as well as arranger keyboards. If you enjoy content like this, make sure you subscribe and smash that notification bell icon to not miss out on any single video I upload. Let's start by having a very quick look at the panel buttons. Here we have the power button, turn it on by pressing and holding the switch. And here we have a volume knob, the build quality is very good, there isn't any wiggle at all. And the matte black plastic has a very high quality feel. You can also see the speaker grill, these are the front speaker grill that faces the player. And there are also two 8 watts speakers that will be facing the back as well. And here we have the function button that you will use to activate the different sounds as well as the different effects. And there's a quick grand piano button that you press to immediately default to the grand piano factory sound. And if you press both buttons together, you would activate the factory demo. There are actually two demo songs from the factory and I'm gonna let you have a listen to the demo from the speakers that is built into this piano. I am not using a digital line out so you can hear the quality of the speakers. Volume is only at three quarters. even at full volume. There's no distortion, even at full volume. There are 10 tones built into the Casio CDP S100 and they are the standard factory grand piano. And we also have a more mellow version of it that is great for playing slow ballads. We have a brighter version of the grand piano, which is great if you're playing with a band and you want to cut through the rest of the instruments. And we have three different electric pianos, which I shall demonstrate later on. There's also a harpsichord, strings, pipe organ, and jazz organ. And it comes with a very easy to use metronome function, on off tempo, beats, and volume. And over here is the equivalent of an alphanumeric keypad where you can key in the different tempo as well as the number of beats you want the metronome to beat on, to accent the beat on, as well as the volume of the metronome. And the Casio CDP S100 comes with touch sensitive keys and it has four velocity curves from soft to normal to hard touch and you can assign it through this uh, little function here. And there are four different reverbs you can apply as well as four different choruses and you can apply both concurrently there's also a transpose function as well as a tuning function. I like the fact that all the functions and features are printed out here on the panel for easy access and there's no need to guess which note or which key corresponds to uh, which function, which is quite unlike the Yamaha P series that I've reviewed before, where you will definitely need the manual if you want to know which uh, feature or function you are trying to activate through the keys. And there is also a sound feedback to tell you that a certain feature or function has been confirmed. So for example, if I were to press function and I press mellow, you can hear that there's a beep to tell you that you have selected a certain voice, or in this case, I selected jazz organ. You also get multiple beeps to tell you what level of reverb you are getting. Three beeps, four beeps, and a dull beep like this means there's no reverb there's no reverb, and then there's one level of reverb, reverb number two, 
reverb 3, reverb 4. The same for the touch sensitivity. That's no touch sensitivity. That's a soft touch sensitivity and that's the normal. And finally, we have the hard touch. So I like all this um, oral cues that is found in this piano, especially for those who are visually challenged and they will definitely need this sort of uh, audio cues to know what features and functions that they have activated. One of the selling point of the Casio CDP S100 is that it has a very slim profile. This is only about 23 centimeters deep and it will fit into any small bedrooms or apartment where space is a premium. Now let's have a look at the back panel of the Casio CDP S100. So here it says the CDP S100 BK, which stands for black color. And you, see, you can see here it is made in China but designed by Casio in Japan. And here we have one of the 8 watt speaker that is facing the back of the piano and it will actually reverberate and resonate against the wall if you lean this piano against the wall. And that is what I believe most people will be doing. Let's have a look at the connectivity options. Here we have the DC in 12 volts and you can plug it in using electricity. And here we have the auxiliary audio in and you can plug in your MP3 player and play along with your favorite backing track. And here we have a headphones um, as well as a output 3.5 millimeter output that you can use to output to your external PA system or an external monitor speakers. And here we have a single damper pedal. And on the left side, we have a class compliant USB jack here that you can connect to your computer to send and receive MIDI data. You can also connect to the Kodana app on your iPhone, iPad or your Android phones and tablets and control the piano functions and features using the Kodana app as well. And the Casio CDP S100 also runs on six AA batteries and you should expect to get at least 12, 13 hours from the six AA batteries. So excluding the batteries, this entire piano weighs 10 and a half kilos, which should be manageable for you to bring around on gigs and performances. Now we're gonna have a listen to the 10 tones found on the Casio CDP S100. So you realize that at this price, it gives the 10 bread and butter tones that you will need for any gig or busking um, or for any kind of uh, home playing that you will need. Let's start with the standard grand piano. If you need a mellower sound, you can select that. Next, we have the mellow piano. Let's have a listen to the bright piano. Electric piano next. Let's have a listen to Electric Piano 2.
electric piano tree. Hopsichord. So the thing about the Casio CDP S100 is that there isn't a key off sample because in a real hopsichord when you lift up there is actually a key off sound of the pick of the hopsichord but it's not found here. Let's have a listen to the strings now. And you can very easily layer two voices just by pressing both the buttons down when you are pressing the function button. So for example, if I want a mellow piano sound with strings, all I need to do is press function, press mellow, piano, as well as the strings. You can hear the double beep, but um, uh, that is to tell you that it has been layered with the double voices, which is the mellow piano and the strings. Let's have a listen. Next, let's have a listen to the pipe organ sound. And we also have a jazz organ sound, which is the final voice. You can also adjust the different reverbs. I'm going to try the reverb on the electric piano sound. So first, I select the electric piano. So this is the default factory reverb that's applied to it. And I'm going to apply more reverb to it. You can hear da da da, which is more reverb and the chorus. The second stage of the chorus. You can hear the swirly sound. Let's apply even more chorus to it. I hope you enjoyed this little overview of the Casio CDP-S100 digital piano. And if you're looking for a little bit more than what the Casio CDP-S100 offers, there is the S150 which has three additional features. Firstly, it has the ability to plug in an additional tri-pedal which gives you the sostenuto, soft pedal as well as the damper pedal. In addition, it comes with a one-track recorder. In addition, it has a duo mode which allows you to play duets for those who are into duets. It splits the sound of the keyboard into two identical parts and you can play duets or have a teacher play along with you during your lessons. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. 
So let me know in the comments below what you think about this latest piano by Casio for the CDP S100 and S150. I have also made a different video on the Casio CDP S350 which costs quite a lot more but it has 700 tones and 200 rhythms. You can find a link in the description as well as in the card here. So leave a comment and tell me what you think about this piano. Till the next time, make great music. Bye-bye.